If you believe in truth, freedom, and the right to fly your drone, please do click subscribe and the notification bell for when the newest videos come out about drone news and tech right here on the channel. Today, we're gonna talk about a brand new release from Blue Eddy, and I have to tell you, this is something that you really didn't know that you needed. Now, for the new guys on the channel, you probably haven't seen our power station reviews before, but this company has sent us a new model, it's the AC50B. You can get it in a combo or you can buy it uh, power station only, but you can get it with a combo with the solar panels. I highly suggest you get the solar panels uh, because nothing is more exciting than free energy from the sun in your backyard and watching the numbers go up. So let's take a little closer look at the AC50B portable power station from Blue Eddy. So let's take a look at this power station. This is the front of it. It does have DC input from 12 to 28 volt right here. And it is an XT60 input connector into your solar panels, which is pretty cool. So, uh, and again, I was getting 170 watt into this and it charged this station up within about two hours time. It does have a power button in the middle right here. It has the DC output right here in case you want to plug in something uh, like from your cigarette lighter from your car style 12 volt uh, at 10 amps on that one we have a dc button here the ac button usb c at 65 watt uh, and a second usb c at 65 watt and over here it has usb a at 15 watt and it has two three prong ac output at 120 volt up to 700 watt with a 1000 watt max so i can i can make a pot of coffee on this which is awesome uh, my most favorite thing about the blue eddy now, over on the left-hand side for the turbo charging, you have an AC input port right here. Lift that up and you can see for the three-pong connector right there. And we have a grounding port over here on the right-hand side. In the back, we have that grab handle for picking it up in and out of the car. And it weighs about 15 pounds. Now, as far as battery capacity, this one is a 448 watt hour battery. It's 22.4 volt and it is a 20 AH style internal LIFE battery, uh, which makes it a bit safer. And I know some people were asking me, can I take something like this on a plane? No, you can't because uh, you can only take up to 100 watt hour on uh, domestic United States flights. Now right in the middle, let's go ahead and press that, long press it and it'll turn on and you'll see this LCD display here with some input wattage on the left. It has the percentage charge right in the center and it also has the output wattage right here and it's running at 60 Hertz, which is gonna be the United States equivalent for our power supply. Uh, it's also in eco mode, which means that it's gonna save some of the energy while it's on. It's not gonna have as much output uh, while it's in eco mode. So if you wanna turn on DC, press this button right here. You'll see DC come up on the screen. You can press AC as well, and that'll come up. We can also turn those off if we're not using them, and that way we won't waste energy uh, while it's just sitting here or, or at the campsite. So let's pretend we're out camping, and let's just kind of run some devices through it all at once and see what kind of output wattage we get uh, from the AC50B. Now, the first thing I'm gonna turn on is the AC ports here uh, on the right-hand side and we should hear it click and then it'll start to charge up the laptop we turned on the lipo charger i've got a 3s6000 plugged in here so i'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to that and i'm going to get that started at 2 amp and you should see some output wattage change right here so uh, as we add devices and turn things on the output wattage will start to go up so right now i'm charging this 3s6000 lipo at 2 amp and it's showing me that it's outputting at 57, 58 watt, uh, right around 56 to 58 watts on that output. Uh, I can also charge up my Surefire batteries for my flashlight when I'm camping, uh, as well as my phone here by the DC port. So if I press the DC port here, now these things are gonna start to charge. So my phone is now charging and my flashlight battery right here. So. Uh, this one's plugged in with an Android style cable and this one's USB-C and now I'm up to around still at 66 uh, 66 watt output so it's actually gone down a little bit <laughs> which is kind of crazy but you know we're, we're seeing a max of like 66 watt right here with all these things plugged in at once 
Now, I think my favorite and most exciting part of this entire power bank system is the app that they have. So if you go to the app store and download Blue Eddy's app, you can log in and register your device. This will give you your five-year warranty uh, and set that all up, which is pretty amazing. They'll give you a five-year warranty on a power bank uh, with all of the, the, the hurt you're probably gonna put on this thing, uh, going out camping and, and you know, I'm kind of rough and tumble with stuff. You can log in and register or you can do the offline mode. So we're just gonna simply do the offline mode. And once I go into that, it's gonna see the AC50B right there. Just click on that for available devices. Wait a second and it should log in. So check this out. This, I mean, as a tech guy, I freaking love this. This is freaking cool. So I see I'm connected to Bluetooth. I can see how many bars. Uh, I have my PVO watt hour right there. Uh, o watt for the grid. I'm adding back into the grid not in this scenario um, but i am seeing that we have zero on the dc side of things and 21 watts right now currently going out on the ac side of things uh, and i also have a power button down here i have an ac and dc switch so this is pretty neat because if i'm not using anything on the dc side I'll just turn that off and say yes and that turns it off here um, now, what's so neat, you can see the light went out. Now I can say I turn it back on, and it'll say okay, and watch the green light comes back on. Uh, I love that I can make controls to the power bank from the app. That's just, that's really neat to me. Uh, that makes me super happy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead now, we're gonna um, go into the settings, and you can change the way the screen looks. You can make it dark to light mode, which a lot of apps now have which is cool. You can change the charge mode from standard um, to silent to turbo mode, which is kind of neat. So if you know, you're charging this and your wife is sitting uh, on the couch and she's like, what's that fan noise? Every time I start to charge something or I run my LiPo charger at home, uh, it, it seems that my other half is always like, what is that noise? And I'm constantly charging stuff. Uh, so she hates the fan, so I can put it in silent mode, which is cool. Um, and there's power lifting. Uh, mode as well and there's eco mode which I told you about before um, it will kind of shut itself off and it does have a, a, a shutdown after four hours if it's left on and you can change those individually from the AC or the DC uh, eco mode so turn that off if you want max power um, and you don't want it um, to turn itself off now there's auto sleep which is also for the screen. So it came stock set up to, I think it was five seconds, or no, 30 seconds actually. So 30 seconds, uh, and I had to turn it to five minutes because when I first got it, I was looking at my solar panel charging it up to 170 watt, and it kept going to sleep on me. So I really wanted to pay attention to how much wattage was going in uh, as the sun and the clouds kept coming over and changing my percentage of input from the solar panels. So um, you can do 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, and never. So I set mine to five minutes while I was playing around um, with the solar panels. So that, that was pretty neat. Um, you can also see what firmware version you're running right here. Uh, current version for us is V0904601. And advanced settings. And this is where if you're not in the United States, you can change your uh, AC output frequency. Mine's set to 60. Uh, you can also do 50. And we have grid self-adaption, uh, which you know we're not gonna use that uh, currently, but you can also do a factory reset. So there's, there's quite a few options in here. Um, so if you're trying to run your, your coffee pot or something higher, higher um, amp draws, then you can turn on that power lifting option. So, uh, that'll give you just a little more juice and then turn off eco mode as well on the AC side of things if you're using the three prong AC plugs. So we'll go back here and now you can see that we're at 97%. Um, so we've, we've dropped a couple percentage, but man, if you plug in that solar <laughs> panel and you're outdoors, you're going to probably keep your battery charge level about the same, even though you're charging all your stuff at once. Okay, so we are outside now, and I just wanna show you how much power we can input from this solar panel. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the DC input right here. So it does have this handle right here that you can you know, take it and easily put it in your truck or your car. It has little clips on the backside. So I'm gonna 
open those up. And we also have a bag for all the cables that uh, are for the solar panels. You also have these folding out feet that you're going to use once you get it angled up toward the sun. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it out now. It's a pretty quick setup. So right now, we should be already getting some wattage into the power bank. And I'm already seeing that we're at 100. I got, I got a peak of 163 watt already. I haven't even put the feet down. So it's pretty much as soon as you open this up, get it at the 45 degree angle to the sun, we're going to put these feet back. And I'm just going to lay this baby back just like this. You kind of adjust and change the angle that you want, but we're in the grass right now and it does seem to be holding. Let's check this and see what we're at right now. I'm at 100 and 45, 130. It's going up to 141, 2, 144, 145. And the other day when I was out here, it was kind of more direct sun. Right, right now we got a little bit of kind of overcast clouds, but enough sun to come through to get me close to 130 to 140 watts. So this will definitely be enough power to charge this uh, in probably two and a half hours. Okay, so we give you guys a little bit closer look at those numbers changing. That made me so super happy the other day, uh, and I'm already up to 98%, so I'm starting to already gain some percentage. And as the sun gets brighter, it's just so cool to see that wattage input go up. I mean, this is free energy right here. I, I think this, this review makes me the most excited. Look at that 163 watt. These, these things make me so happy. I, I want, you know, I want all of these things that I can get. This is just awesome. I mean, who doesn't like free energy? You know, and it's free to me because I got it for free. Um, but I, th I think if you were to invest in these, and I really don't care what brand you buy, uh, the, you know, read the reviews. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Blue Eddy is one of the main brands, uh, as well as Energizer and others. You know, you just have to pick the one you think would be the best for you. But this is the four panel. 200 watt version you can see the feet back here on the back side that go down and then there's the cabling that goes up and it's pretty simple there's just two cables here and the xt60 port on the front of it and now look at that you know as i had you here it's already charged up two percent and it's at a hundred percent already what is that the coolest thing ever or what? I mean, yo, I'm ready for the weekend. It's so cool. All right, so I'm at 100% charge now. I can go ahead and fold up my solar panels. I'm just gonna show you how they fold up. All the way around like that. We've got the two clips holding it into one piece, okay? Now this last one, and you know, if you're storing it in the garage or whatever, or you're gonna put it back in your truck or your car, they have this nice little bag here, which fits the solar panel wires back in there. So I'm not gonna really tidy them up, but I'm just gonna kind of get them so that we can just zip them up in here and I can show you how this works. So as quick as that, I'm ready to put it back in the car. So mine's charged up to 100%. It's pretty much ready to take out and fly for the afternoon or take camping this weekend. Uh, it is Friday now, so I'm pretty excited to have this charge up for the weekend uh, with the family or just maybe just going out and flying some of my drones. But if you like this type of review, you want to see more tech and drone reviews and drone news that's a lot going on right now, be sure to subscribe on the channel because you'll see some pretty cool stuff coming up. New products and uh, drone news that you need to know about in the US, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, keep your fingers crossed. We should be okay. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna stop flying. We're gonna keep flying and we're gonna keep enjoying the hobby that we love. So grab one of these. This, one, this one's mine. 
Um, so you can't have this one, but you can grab one at the link down below uh, to, to Blue Eddie's Amazon site. So uh, I'd appreciate that. It helps benefit the channel. And now I'm out of here with my uh, brand new setup here. So I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.